again, converting something we use for our babies into something we can use for our baby chicks. Watch, you help me? Come here, buddy. Wow. Say hi. Say hi, I'm a nice boy. Okay, so you guys have seen our crib brooder. You have seen how we use that to start out our chicks with a heat lamp. Then when we move them out onto the grass, we call it our teenager stage when they've fully feathered out and they no longer need a heat lamp. We have used these play yards that are made for toddlers in the past um, and we are using it again. So we are just building a new one now. And what we do is we set up the play yard and we measure out the chicken wire on the inside. Uh, if you have predator issues in your area, it is much better to use hardware cloth and secure that the best way you can. We're going the cheap route and using just the chicken wire for now because our livestock guardian dogs help keep predators away from our area. I've unrolled the wire all the way to the door and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece off and I'm gonna cut a separate piece for the door. That way I can come in and out if I need to, but more than likely I won't use that door very much. We will build a top for this as well so that they'll be protected from overhead and won't fly out and get loose. So just in case a predator were to try to come and grab a chicken, we do affix the chicken wire to the inside of the cage so that if they pulled from the outside, it would be an extra layer of protection with the bars. I'm just gonna go ahead and put zip ties all the way around and secure it with that. You might need something a little more solid if you have a high predator issue in your area. So once you've secured all the way around, we're gonna add more zip ties later. We were taking too long. So it's better to do as many zip ties as possible. We'll add more to the rest of it so that it matches that. And then you just add a baby and a couple of chicks and you're good to go. <laughs> We had to distract Odin from grabbing sharp chicken wire, so we gave him a couple of chicks to play with, and they are being so sweet. The chicks are curious about him, and he's curious about the chicks, but he's super gentle. <laughs> Be nice. Good boy. And then we will build a top to go across the top of it, and we'll be done. You like those chicks? <laughs> so Ryan's cutting a piece for the door now, and that'll be so that we can come in and access if we need to bring the birds in for the night, if it's going to be inclement weather. So that'll give us access to put in food and water too. So, exciting. Okay, here is the finished setup. Ow! And what I did, we wrapped want to... the chicken wire around, zip tying as we went. Love chickens. Did a separate piece for the door so the door can open independently. And then we had this metal grate that we've used for few other things in the past but for now it was available not quite the right size so I set some lumber down just for something for it to rest on zip tied the grate to the hanging over chicken wire and now it's pretty sturdy this is only a temporary, Why? A temporary setup Why? for teenager chickens or also six-year-old boys. You keep on hopping. Liam, are you happy in there? Yeah. Yeah? Ah! Stop hopping off! I want to pick you up. I'm picking you up, but you keep on hopping off.